Right, welcome back to the Chief Finney um, Arena here in London, Fulham Broadway. We're here for the next round of the quarter-final games. Um, I'm now joined with Dina Tastaz. How's it going, mate? Are you all right? Not bad. Uh, not a great day no, in the no, office, so-called. But other than that, it's a great day. And uh, tomorrow, all my team will be pretty cool. But at the moment, we've got some great players still left in this tournament. Yeah, no, we've got um, Alex against Bruce Granick and um, also uh, an all-friends affair of um, Rocky against um, Epsilon Brian. Right. Who, who do you fancy out of them? Um well, Rocky was in my group. I didn't get to play him because of what happened in my group, and he won the first two. I lost the two, so I didn't get to play him. But uh, Brian, I mean, Brian, I'd, I'd fancy Brian on paper and the way he plays, but I think it's going to be a, a close game, really close. It's hard to call. I think we'd have to wait to see how they're playing and then make a judgment. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, well, the, for some reason, I, I've been back and rocky in this tournament, but yeah, this right. will be his a big test for him. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen any of his games. I was watching some of the games on the big screen, but I haven't seen Rocky actually play, so uh, this will be pretty cool to see how what he's made of. You know, he's, play, he's played all right so far. Not yeah, No, he's done very well. Um, I think he did lose a game, though, right. didn't he, in the first... In the no, first rounds? Or did he go right through? Um, he won his first game against Nino. And then the second game, he beat... No, he beat um, Graham. Oh, yeah, so, so he went, went right through, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, no, he's been playing really well so far. And then we've got Bruce Granick and uh, Alejandro. All this unique gamer tag, Kimodu Kunki. <laughs> yeah, no, well, yeah we've, we've been calling him um, Alex for now. Right, Alex. Uh, yeah. But that's, that's the game we're going to go straight into now. Um, Alex versus Bruce Granick. Right. And Bruce, no, do you know what? For some reason, uh, all these um, sort of recent T Finity tournaments, we, we're never sort of mentioning him as Bruce like, the favourite or anything. But he, yeah, I mean, he's, he's I don't think we've name. seen him in the past couple to get to the very latter stages, which is pretty. Sh you, I mean, it's many people would expect him to get there, but I think that just shows the competition level, I guess, at so, this moment. So we're right in for with um, Alex versus Bruce. Not sure who is who at this moment in time. Right. Um, so both are picked by Munich. Um, I'm guessing, well, men, both players have probably already used Real Madrid and Chelsea, and Bayern Munich are probably third better, third best. Oh, sorry. So Bruce Granick is um, with the white. Right, Bruce Alex Granick is right. with the red. Okay. And Alex is already attacking here. So, I mean, Alex, I don't really know like how to think of how he plays. It's sort of like... I think he's just going for it because I remember the last Gfini he was playing five at the back and this Gfini I'm pretty sure he's four at the back so I think he's just said like I'm just going to go for it and he's got out his group with relative ease and now he's playing Bruce Granick and he could be in the semi-final so how, how did you rate um, his chances like pre-tournament are you surprised he's got this Alex one? yep Alex um, yeah I'd, I'd say I'm surprised that he's I'm, I'm pretty sure he went 2-0 in his group so yeah, I mean that's that, that's that's well done to him to have played such a, such a, such good games. But now he's playing against Bruce Granick, who doesn't show any emotion, no matter <laughs> what goes against him or what what goes for him. It's just it's just robotic, isn't it? Yeah, no, I'm normally quite impressed by Bruce. Um, this tournament has been, to be fair, the games he has won, he's looked really comfortable and, and sort of has won really right. easily in the end. I've, it's been a quiet start, to be honest. 13 minutes gone. Just, I think they're just trying to find their groove here. And I, this is an interesting thing. Um, Road. I haven't really gone by Munich a lot, but uh, his stats are really good on the game. But I wonder who he sacrificed him for because I don't think I would find a place for Road. I don't know if you would. No, 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 no I wouldn't. Right now, this is Bruce Granick down the wing, and he's he's just going to whip it. Oh, that, that's going to be hard to win. You've got Benatia and Boateng. And you haven't got a crazy Ronaldo to do crazy headers. So them kind of whipped crosses would be, I think it'll be pretty hard to just win the header and get it in the back of the net. Yeah, no, I think he just went, went for that cross there just right, because yeah. he didn't have anything on. I think the game might be a bit of a build-up game, to be honest. Not a quick... Trying to get quick goals. That'll be pretty tough. Yeah, and I think, well, like, like you've said, Granite does play almost like a robot at times. Right. Um, did we get, uh, did you get to see what formation he went? Uh, no, no, I didn't see it. Right. 
I'll be interested if he's gone too up front or not to see how aggressive he is. But this game, it, I mean, you know about previous FIFA's 4 2 3 1 was the most oh, yeah. favoured formation. And um, I think many players have, are realising or have realised that two strikers in a certain way is the way forward, at least for this game, which is uh, kind of, it's hard to take in because usually to have more midfielders that 4 2 3 1 was like. It was just balanced attack and defence, but now it seems like it's harder to create on that and you need two up front. What do you think about that? Yeah, no, I definitely agree. I think two strikers and then someone in behind them. Um, I know some people use 4-2-2-2, um, yeah. but I think I think you can do a lot of damage just with three players up front. Three, so 4-3-3? Three, three. Uh, so like um, your two, 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 two strikers with and a a, a, with a cam, yeah. Right. I've, yeah, I, I've never, in a competitive... I could never play with the cam and the two strikers from the beginning. I've tried the 4 2 4 triple 2 but many players are trying the 4-3-1-2 formation. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that quite a lot today. Yeah. And um, that's what Gorilla's playing. Right, yeah. And I was just in the booth with him, and he done really well with that formation, so clearly he knows something. Yeah, I think I'm definitely in this FIFA, the emphasis is a little bit more in, in attack. Right. Because, yeah, like you said, it is tougher to get right. them chances and it seems like also off the ball defending it's more like maybe not a thinking game and just pressing more yeah. and just going for it even if it doesn't make sense and you could leave gaps in behind just going for it that seems to be yeah, the way forward I completely agree actually yeah. even though it's dangerous and doesn't it make is. sense it's like hard to, it doesn't make sense does it no it's hard to get through your head but I mean this has been a quiet opening we haven't really seen any sort of chances here you know I was kind of expecting this um Cagey you know, start. Bruce to control the start of this game. Right. Maybe Alex has given him a bit too much respect. Right, too much of the ball, yeah, because it, it seems like he's got a lot of possession, but this, this is a good chance here. Let's see what he can make of it. Oh, he's just he's just missed that yeah, cutback. Trying for the cutbacks. Yeah. The cutbacks on this game just uh, seem to be used so much more than just the X cross. To get the cut back and then do a spin first time or whatever you want to yeah, do. Like to a dummy or something. Yeah, something exactly. Like but to be honest with Bayern Munich, I don't, I don't really... Um, there's something about them. They feel like a, a bit of like a stiff team going forward, trying to create, especially on this game. It feels like it's a bit of a hassle to create with them. And it's just... Um, I think if you're 1-0 if you're down... To play catch up with them is really is really tough. Even though Robin and Ribery are amazing, but um, I mean you have to play them on the wing, so they don't really get into the game as much as the strikers. And the strikers are a bit. Lewandowski is a bit questionable, isn't he? Many people. Yeah, no, think. I, yeah, I think I think that's the big reason why they do feel a bit stiff on this FIFA, just because. Right, and right here, um, Bruce Granick has Muller right back, I believe, which is something on FIFA 14 many players did, and he still, I believe. I think I um, right back. Spencer was saying a lot of people use him as centre back, or maybe not centre back in the last tour. I've seen Alaba used centre back. I think that, I think that would be pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> that guy's pace. Well, yeah, there is a card on on the team for Alaba as centre back. Well, that, I mean, I thought that was as quiet as a half as it gets. Yeah, you know, it was like showing. like you can see from the stats. That was pretty. That was just. I guess he was just. They were feeling each other right, You could say. Yeah, no, I agree, yeah. I mean, Granik. it is a quarter-final and a lot's on the line. Granite did control the game and... and um, yeah, but Alex sort of led him, didn't he? 2-1 in the other game. 2-1. Um, Bayern against Madrid. Right. And who's 2-1 who's up? I'm not sure. Do you know if... Um, I think Rocky will be Madrid. Right. Just because he's had only yeah, had two games. I don't think he used them, yeah. Yeah, that's right. So, um, yeah, Rocky 2 one down now at the moment to um, Brian and yeah Brian have, have, has already used Madrid so yeah Brian's used Madrid because he dropped that first game which was to uh, who did he drop it to I don't know who he dropped it no, to we, um, but he it dropped his first game so he had to use Real Madrid oh yeah yeah, yeah. but right here that Bruce is trying to get something going here and he's reaching uh, Alex's like box or around his box and Alex isn't really getting anywhere so to be honest at the moment it could just be a matter of time before something happens yeah and here yeah, this is a great shot oh he's oh he's got a lucky ricochet oh, that, take a touch he's got to take a touch 
he's got to take a touch there. Yeah, Granik's unlucky. That's, that's unlike Granik actually, just to, right, be, yeah, to, to panic in that. that situation. I mean, it's easier, isn't it, to be watching? Oh, yeah. When you cut it back, Agreed. you just want to shoot, don't you, just yeah. to put it in. But that one right there, that's, that's a huge, that's a free goal for Granik if he just takes one touch, to be honest. Yeah, got a little bit of luck to work him his, himself into oh, that yeah, position. Oh, yeah, when Philip Lahm got the little ricochet, yeah. yeah. Yeah, how are we going to see some Alex, Alex finally? Oh. Though? oh, this is the sprint. <laughs> Nearly gets. Wait, through. he's still in here. He's still. He's. He's gonna. He's gonna probably come back and try again. He's trying to get the perfect angle for the shot. There it is. Good chance there, but yeah, good. Good closing down from Granite. Yeah, that was. That was. That was. That was the first time I've seen Alex actually um, sort of penetrate at Bruce's defense there. But here comes Ooh, Bruce again, he's well, in. Well a one v one finesse shot. Wow. Wow. And he hasn't finessed it. I, d I thought he would have finessed that, but when, once you see the ball go past the keeper, you'd think it would have gone in, wouldn't yeah, you? No, especially, yeah, especially Robin on his uh, left foot just finessed that around the keeper. Um, so I'm really surprised wow. in that miss. Problem with missing chances like that, it mentally affects you in there. You're like, wow, I'm missing these chances. And, but, but not with Bruce. Not with Bruce, would it? Yeah, yeah. He's almost he's in again, but that's Philip yeah, Lahm, no, he's, unfortunately. Uh, he's cut sort of Alex wide open quite a few times right. now. And right here, he's, ju he's just trying to get that spin, that first time that first time fake shot to get it on his stronger foot. Sometimes I've thought um, the games I've watched, people I don't think are shooting enough. I think they're trying to find the perfect chance, but I just think goalkeepers make some mistakes. Like, he had Robin with his left foot on the ball. He could have took a... It wasn't a long shot. It was just outside the box. He could have just gone for it. You know, I'd, I would agree with that, but I think sort of maybe that's a sort of bad habit that's built into FIFA players throughout the years. Like right. normally keepers aren't so much for liability, and you, yeah, I know. F for me, I prefer only shooting when I know I can score. Right. Um, but yeah, maybe this is a game where you can get away with that a bit more. Right, uh, you can see Ox as well saying something to him. I think they know the game's getting away from them here, overall. Even though the scoreline's nil-nil, so it's all good. And do I see Ribery on the bench here? You certainly do. I believe... And who, who's the actually playing in this? Ribery was on the bench. So oh, sorry, way. somebody is five defender. Yeah, yeah no, Alex, sorry. Uh, Alex is, is gone back to five defender. Okay, but in the group stage, he wasn't five defender, so I thought he, he would have just left it. But he's gone back to it. I'm not too sure why. That's probably explained why Bruce has 60-something percent possession as well. But, I mean, this is a, this is a tight game to call. And wh when you're playing against five defense, you'll know as well. When you get your chances, you need to take them, don't you? Because it's hard to create them. Yeah, although you say that, Bruce has had quite a few chances and is getting men forward here. Yeah, he is. He's committing. And he's trying to create here again, and he's spin through, Good and he's play. in. He's going to... That's... That. Again, it's just decision-making in and around that's that surprising party area. To me. That, that really is. I mean, I don't know. I just... I can't, I, I'm shocked that Bruce has gone for the shot there. I thought at least he would have controlled it, even if he lost the ball, but he's gone for that near post. Um, just to update you on the other game as well, it's now 2 all um, in the other quarter-final. Goals galore in that game, so Rocky... Uh, making a comeback. Right. Hold on to Rocky so far, I guess. That game's pretty interesting. But here, um, Alex is playing Robin up front as well. Um, what do you think about that, playing Robin up front? You know, I think um, as your it's, central it's, it's either Robin or Ribery, really, isn't it? Cause really? Yeah. I don't, I don't think you're playing too, middle there. Too slow. Yeah, I don't. Purely for pace reasons. It's yeah. just, and really, you haven't really got many options, have you? Right. Oh, here's Robin, and he's just trying to do the little just, sprint thing. Just kind of wasting a counter-attack there, and right, Alex yeah. needs to keep the ball. Oh, this is, this is a problem. Good chance for Granite. Oh, that's good defending. But he's, he's giving it straight back to him, but he's got away with it. Again, so, is Granite going to regret missing all these, or, or sort of half, a lot of half chances yeah. in and around the box? I think Alex has given him the ball. Uh, he's trying to create an attack far too quick, and just giving him the ball straight back. I know, I know this is a game that can favour being very direct, but it definitely isn't helping Alex. Yeah, it definitely game. isn't right now, but Bruce is, I wouldn't say struggling, but clear-cut opportunities haven't, bar the ones in the first half, 
have kind of dried up here. Yeah. But I still think that Alex should bring on Frank Ribéry. Yeah, no, I think 100%. definitely. Even, even if you just swap him for Lewandowski. This is a good chance for him here if he could reach that ball. But Again, the Alaba. Was Alaba centre back? Well, he's in the central position there, but hit. Yeah, it's right centre back, I think, boating. That's the pull for the ball. He's kept it in somehow, right? How has he kept that one in? Philip Lahm as well, I mean, regarded as one of the best right backs of, the, of this generation. And on FIFA, um, many people don't even play him, to be honest. All right, uh, to be Due honest, to I height have, reasons. And, yeah, no, I uh, can see that. Yeah. I, I wouldn't use him. I'd use him in CDM, right. preferably because of the height reasons. And that's our first game. That's a typical German game, a nil-nil after 90 minutes. And I think Bruce looks like he thinks he's in control, to be honest. Yeah, Alex no, looks think, a bit... I think, um, I think Bruce definitely is in control um, by the looks of that game, but he will definitely be worried that he hasn't made his chances count. Right, yeah. And Alex could come out fighting, and um, it's still tall um, in the other game with Rocky and right. Epsilon Brian. Could we see a winner in that game? Well, that's just uh, the first leg's just about to end, so that should probably finish 2 2. So both games are probably going to go from the first leg with draws in, so yep. that's interesting. We've had stalemates after the first leg, no winners. Do you think that shows nerves or just the way it's gone? Um, no, I yeah, I don't think it shows nerves. May maybe a little bit in our game, actually. Um, right. But the fact that there's been goals in the other game, I don't think them two are nervous. Right, yeah. Um, uh, maybe I think Alex is a little bit just because he didn't really show, you know, he even if he'd have got a goal in that, I don't don't think he deserved to get any victory there. Um, I think you have got got to make good attacks to some extent. Right. And he just hasn't. And really if not attacks, at least get round the box and try and create. I didn't really see enough of that. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not really sure what the I game think plan Alex, was. Look, I think Alex is going unless he does a last second change. He's gone back to four at the back. Okay. Yeah. He's got. He's played the whole group of four at the back, and he's and he's finished two and zero oh in the group. So I mean. I was surprised he's gone five at the back. I mean, is, yeah, that's like what you said, too much respect yeah. to Bruce Granite. I no, I can, to be fair, I can totally understand that. Um, going five at the back? No, no, um, respecting Granite. Right, yeah. um, like, this is what, Alex's second tournament? Or maybe Alex's first? second, yeah. Um, he was at yeah, the last second, Tiffany, yeah. yeah. Um, and you're coming up against a three-time world right. champion right, for that, the first that time. Right, that is true, but... I mean, it's not like he's played people of a different, complete caliber in his group. Yeah, and he's no, played with true. four at the back, and he's gone so well. He'd, I mean, this will be interesting to see how he plays now with this. And Bruce is probably thinking, damn, I should have yeah. at least got a 1-0 lead here going into this. Definitely. Yeah, no, Bruce may regret them chances missed in that game. Will it come back to bite him is the question. And both games right now have ended, so we're just waiting to see... Yeah, I think um, Epsilon, Rocky and Brian have gone for a straight restart in, this, in their game. And we go hop into their game now, just to, with their game at Tool. Right, and Bayern Munich is... Um, uh, Rocky is Real Madrid again. Yeah, yeah Rocky's Real yeah. Madrid against um, Brian. Brian. So Brian's doing well. I mean, Bayern against Real Madrid. Yeah, holding up. Yeah. Considering, yeah, like, Bayern are Bayern, quite a bit Bayern of a have the players too shut down a Real Madrid attack, though. They're quick, they're strong. They, 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 it's a good team to go. But right now we see Real Madrid going forward with with pretty fluent football right there. But again, Brian cuts it out. And Brian's another, you could say, a possession player, wouldn't you? A slow, build it up and wait for his chance patiently type of player. Yeah, um, I, I definitely think he... I'd say he's one of the most balanced players, actually. I think he can right. play quick football when he needs right, to. Yeah. Um, well, I, I'm not sure about the last tournament as much, but definitely when I've watched him in the past. Yeah. Um, I've been impressed by some of the goals that he's scored. Yeah, I mean, Brian's been pretty impressive recently on FIFA and all the events he's attended. And he'll be wanting to carry on here, but he's got it up against him. I mean, he's playing against Real Madrid, unfortunately for him, but... I think we see Muller right back again here, who's bombing forward. And he's gonna, he should cross this. No, he hasn't, he's decided not, what a tackle. How risky Good was chance. that? It was risky. How you, risky you was can, that? You can sometimes go over the I ball would and never have it. done that. Slide tackled in that position. That's unbelievable, but he got it perfect, ping on. Yeah, nice paid off for him. 
Brighton has. Brian seems to be um, always in. That's a goal. We both know that. Yeah, that's a Great goal. goal. Look at him. He knows. He sliced him open. Uh, that was that was a just slide, just sliced open. Yeah, that, that was a good, good play. Good sort of reverse pass there, and um, yeah, around the corner. Yeah, no, good good sort of vision by Brian there to go free to love. Have, have you played either of these players online much? I've played Brian. Uh, um, I played Brian online once, I know, and Rocky never. So okay. I couldn't really. <laughs> All right. I couldn't really say. Have I played Brian at an event? I'm trying to recall. I don't think. Oh, at G G3 in my group, we drew. But that's a long time ago. That was V14 as well. So uh, that doesn't have much relevance, to be honest, on this game. But he's. I think he's world renowned as one of the best players, Brian nowadays. Brian. Yeah. Okay, I didn't. I don't really know oh, right, that, to be fair. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm still following the scene and like, watching right. who wins on in online qualifiers. I know yeah. so a huge Gorilla and, um, and Sean Allen have been he doing well recently. Gorilla won the last one, but uh, the game with Brian was the closest game Gorilla had, and it was, it was, it was so close. It was just, I mean, Brian could argue that he got unlucky and Gorilla could say he's just nicked it, but, yeah. I mean, it was a great game as well to watch, so... Brian's definitely stamped himself recently on V15 as a top, as a really really top player. But Rocky, I've I've just seen some people say like he's an unreal player, but then people want to see what, how he does offline. Yeah. Clearly, he's doing <laughs> he's doing pretty well here. He's got to a quarter final. He's drawn two two of Epsilon Brian. Oh, sorry, no, he's losing against Epsilon. Oh yeah, because he just scored my bad. Yeah, but yeah, no, he's still doing impressive considering yeah. it's. His first what international tournament? Yeah. Um, he's kind of come out another player this year who's come out of nowhere, a bit like huge gorilla. I know gorilla did play a little right, bit gorilla. last season. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just so. And um, I, I read an article um, on Epson the other day actually about Rocky and how he's sort of the young talent coming up. And right. To be fair, there's got to be no expectations for this guy. Brian is going to be the favourite going into this game. Yeah, he's the more experienced. I mean, surely, but then again, Rocky is Real Madrid. So, I mean, yeah. even if somebody on paper is meant to be a bit better than you, I mean, if you have a Real Madrid and somebody has a Bayern Munich, you're heading into it thinking, like, I'm, I should win. Yep. Once the result comes through, I should win. But Brian's sort of a player, I think, like, once you go down to him, and now it's the second leg as well, it's going to be tough for Rocky to come back because I think Brian's good at shutting the game down as well. But, uh... Yeah, and again, he's quieted sort of down. I mean, I haven't really seen Rocky do much yet in the 32nd minute. Yeah, no, he's that, got a lot of time, but... That's showing a lot in this game already, right. actually. Um, Brian lock, almost locking the... Or trying to lock the game right. down. Um, where Rocky you're not struggled even seeing to get Ra an attack. Yeah, going. you're not even seeing Real Madrid, like... When, when Rocky does get the ball, actually... At least, not necessarily creating a chance, but you can tell getting in areas to do some damage. He hasn't really got there yet. And... Oof, okay, that's a good chance. And also, that's another thing. Nowadays, um, Pepe has been deleted for Varane by, I'm pretty sure, many players nowadays in the, yeah. the centre back position. Yeah, I think that's just um, through Varane sort of improving Getting throughout better, the year, yeah. really, isn't it? Yeah. I watched yeah. his game against, um, what was it, uh, their Champions League game? Was it a Champions League game against somebody? Varane played unreal. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, against uh, Atletico, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, that, the first leg, I think. Yeah, there was a link of, link of some sprint he done yeah. with a drill that was up yeah. for a centre-back. And he almost got the through ball for it as well. But right now, this game, it's like, he's shutting it down. And that's, that's, that's hard to do on FIFA 15 as well because... Many people think the best form of defense is almost not necessarily going bla all guns blazing, but still attacking because it's hard to shut the game down on this. Yeah, on this definitely. game, um, Rocky did have a chance like a few minutes ago, not you know from the edge of the box. Right. But with, you know, with Ronaldo, you never know, know what to expect. Yeah, I mean, Ronaldo is, I mean, incredible. But do you think everyone will have? Oh wait, hang on. That is a great pass. Oh, oh my God! Oh, the deflection. The deflection almost helped him, but yeah. I think... I think I don't think it was going in anyway, but... Yeah, wow. But that was some play. Yeah, no, it was. The um, extra pass there. I I think, yeah, did he need the extra pass, do you think? I think I saw the defender closing in and blocking it. Mm. So, 
But you never know, maybe he would have missed the block. But here, this is the best chance that... Wow. Oh my God, really? the ref has blown the whistle for half time. Look at Rocky's face. The ref has just blown the whistle for half time. <laughs> and he has a... Look at Brian's but face. Yeah, he's just sitting there, wow, thanks ref. I'm... A... <laughs> I'm in I, th I was expecting the offside. You can't yeah, blow the whistle there, I think especially on FIFA, where they never blow the whistle unless I, it's... I wonder if it was offside, but then the full-time whistle went as well. I don't think it was. I'm not going to lie. It... <laughs> Because I, I, I kind of thought Bell might that have been offside be seen who, who received on. the ball first. Right, that um, needs to be seen back on because nobody looked offside and Rocky's that, reaction summed yeah, it up. That was, that's, if that's not offside, that's, that's a goal. Yeah. I think that's safe to say that would have been a goal, but here, that'll give Rocky some boost last, and that'll give Brian a bit of a, a bit of a scare, you could say. Like, wow, like that guy literally, Rocky literally could have scored if the ref done his job, you could say. I mean, you can't blow the whistle there, man. I haven't seen that on FIFA happen as well. That's yeah. That's it's it's just because the defender did win possession of the ball back, isn't it? Right. Um, and so the game thinks, all oh, right, yeah, he's uh, given up possession. But it was literally. But yeah, Ronaldo the was the then D, running that's on. That's incredible. But the other game, what's it? What about the other game? Is it still nil nil? Uh, Ronaldo changing formations at the moment, mm. um, which might indicate someone has scored uh, in that somebody game. Somebody has scored, maybe. But right here, we've, I mean, uh, Brian's just calmed it down again. Calmed it down. But I think it's, um, he's passing it about. I believe it's 2-0 to Alex now. 2-0 to Alex? He was, yeah, he wasn't red before, was he? And uh, it, yeah, he was red before. Unless they've changed kits. It's, um, right. I don't think they're meant to, right so. So, yeah. No, if so they're not meant to, is 2-0 to Alex? Yep. yep. Wow. So, As yeah, I said, you should have come back to four at the back. I mean, if it's working in the groups... And you're going two and zero. I mean, I don't think you should go five at the back due to somebody's reputation. That's and clearly it's paying off for him. But right here, Brian's looking for the perfect opportunity. If he doesn't get it, he'll just keep the ball. Just, just, yeah. just yeah, frustrate Rocky almost. But that's kind of that's kind of a silly ball there. Yeah, I that. the ball was almost on, but he didn't. Yeah. He didn't need to play that. Right, exactly. But I mean, I think eventually we'll probably expect Rocky to Rocky to change formation to a, yeah, unless he already is too up front. I'm not sure if he is, but what's he going to try? I think, yeah, I think he is already top front, right. but um, but right. I, don't, I don't think you need to change. Well, for maybe another ten minutes or so. Right. Yeah. No, he has time. One goal Sixty-third in minute. Yeah. There's there's no crazy rush right now, but he'll be thinking about it. Yeah. Especially the way Brian's controlling the, the controlling the ball and, and can't get it off him quick enough. He's keeping the ball for far too long. He's made him. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go already. That's pretty early. Where's he going? Actually, no. Um, oh, just a person personnel change. So, so yeah, he was only playing one up top. Right. Four two three one. Four two three one. The most well-renowned competitive formation, I yeah. guess. In recent years. What's been the most um, popular formation this year, actually? Because you, you do see a lot of narrow formations with two up top, but you right. still do see players yeah, playing I'd, with 4-2-3-1. I'd say 4 2 3 one is still most popular, but due to some people, some players that have had success and the way they've had success, I think other players are cl uh, almost clocking on that these narrow formations somehow work. Yeah. There's, there's, a, there's benefits that you wouldn't think like when you use your brain to them, but there, there is. So we'll yeah. probably see the four-two-three-one maybe not be used as much in the future, in the near future, for this game at least. Yeah. But I once agree. you get the lead, you want to go four-two-three-one. Yeah. I'd, I'd say so. It's it's a lot easier to control yeah. the game for sure. But right here, Brian's looking for a perfect opportunity, and if he doesn't, oh, well, he's he's forced it back. again. Yeah. I don't know, that's... Um, he doesn't need to force it at the moment. Right. He can just take Especially time. if he's playing against Real Madrid, I mean, you got the lead, which is what you dreamt of, and you should probably sit on it, and he's definitely capable of sitting on the lead. He's a, he's a smart player, so... No, Rocky just trying to build an attack, yeah, which is sort it's of really hard. It game. feels like buying players are everywhere. Does, does it not seem like there's red shots yeah. literally everywhere at the back? <laughs> Rather extravagant. Um, <laughs> that was a... Uh, foul there, or like fall over. The refs haven't been on much point in this game. 
Uh, that, that, that ending of the first half, I, I'm being deadly serious. Rocky. Yeah, no, yeah, he can. That was incredible. He can definitely feel aggrieved for that. Like, oh, if it's, that was a great chance for him. Yeah, but now Brian's finding gaps left and right, but he's not going to force it, is he? He's forced yeah, it again. He does. Okay. And now this is the transition when you force it. There's less midfielders, and Rocky could push the ball up the pitch quickly. Oh, that's the, the wrong yeah, ball. Yeah, the switch the ball was, was out wide. Yeah. yeah. But that's, it's a lot. It is so easy to say when you're watching than when playing. Yeah. Now Brian, like I'd say, um, there's only two attacks left in this game for Rocky. Two just attacks. Because Brian's two holding good the ball attacks. so well. Right. Yeah. Look at him. I mean, he's just pinging it. He's played a an, an almost flawless game, like in terms of shutting down Real Madrid at the moment. But a game is 90 minutes, and Ronaldo is Ronaldo is trying his hardest. That's a good ball from Neuer, because look, he's kept the ball as well. That's yeah. that's a great ball. Yeah, yeah it's, it's one less attack you've got to deal with there. Yeah, and now he has some space. Make a lava run. There's a lava, and there he goes. There's the ball. And he just, no, he doesn't want to go. He just wants to keep it, which is what I expected him to do Rest a couple of minutes earlier. Him out again. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't try and score here. Oh, he's lost the ball. Right, here we go. This 87th minute. It's getting one to that of the time. Last attacks. He's it's, it's important not to rush this. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well no, I'm it's, guessing it's, that was the commentator so curse there. That was paid bad off. timing. But yeah, yeah again, Rocky's Brian. in too much of a rush. I mean. Brian's Football. dealt with this really well. Right, yeah, I think just Brian's played a just just solid. You could even argue that actually if, if Rocky does score, then Brian hasn't really dealt with it well because right. he's been wasteful in a few of these attacks. Yeah, I mean, if you concede now, it really does hurt, but that game is over. And Brian, look at him. Big sigh of relief. I think he deserved to win, don't you? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. The um, runner play and everything. Being one, and he, being one I mean, he was the weaker team as well. Yep. Um, so yeah, that's a bigger sign that he deserved to go through. Um, and yeah, unfortunate for Rocky to be fair. Um, winning two games in the groups, a lot of people would have thought, you know, would have had big things planned, or you know, especially the French contingent contingent not think right. a lot of him. Right. Yeah. I mean, I think he's still done really well. I mean, he was in my group. I haven't got out the group. He's got out the group. So, and there's no shame in losing to Brian, is there? So. Oh yeah. Brian. Brian is a quality player and would have been sort of one of the pre-tournament favourites to make the final. Yeah, again, pre-tournament favourites, definitely. One of them. And also, um, it looks like Alex is... Well, no, we, we should jump to the other game now. Right, There's still, still 15 going minutes um, to play in that game. And, um, and Bruce score on aggregate Bruce Granick's just um, got, the got the game back to 2-1. Right, and how long have we got? 15 minutes. Yeah. This is typical Bruce Granick, though, isn't it? If he did get the equaliser. He's two goals down, time's ticking, but he's not... It's not the end of the world, and he's got the 2-1, and now this will show how much bottle Alex has got to keep this. Yep. Planning against, against a big player. Who, yeah. yeah. But right here, I'm not sure who's in the in the red kit again is Alex. Um, yeah, no, if, right. if they haven't changed. If they haven't changed, then. Alex should be in the red, and he's got an opportunity here if he wants to kill the game. He's trying to kill it, but... Granik's got that away, but at the end of the day, he's just giving it back yeah, to him. And no, mate, this no. is where Alex should, if he's if he's learnt some experience, he should keep it. Not in terms of time wasting, but just just not give it straight back, not give it away straight away. I mean, Bruce Granik will punish you. I think that's one thing we could both agree on. If he did make a horrible mistake, I actually think we might be wrong in um, who's who. In the colours. Yeah, no, no, well, right. no, not in the colours. I think because. The red team just scored, and it's now 2-1, so... Wow. Yeah, no, so I think Granik's been tuning up all this time. Oh, um, OK. Yeah, that would make sense why he was pressing... The red kit was pressing the game so much. Yeah. yeah. So Br this is Alex trying. OK, now we've got yeah, four so minutes of Alex, Alex trying to, to come back. This is it, right here, right now. Lewandowski's in midfield. I mean, he doesn't want Lewandowski there. That's an important toe he's got on that ball. Oh. And that's just Bruce, that big toe of Boateng's. That could kill the game if he could get down this wing. But Rode, look at him. That was pretty impressive, that. Bruce is just controlling the game here, though, once he's got the ball. Oh. 
Yep. We'll probably see again one this last This will be attack. heartbreaking for Bruce if, the, if somehow. And this is, he's got some space yep. here. This Fuck. is a great chart. Oh, oh the, my God. That was actually wonder. really smart, what he tried. Yeah. But I think... I think he could have ran. Bruce messed up a bit and he could have yeah. ran through, yeah, with the player who had the ball. Wow. Is that is that it? Is that the last chance for it? it He's still going. It looked like Bruce actually saw that pass on and right. And sort yeah, of that was incredible. Blocked it. Saw that. Yeah, <laughs> with a scissor kick and it's over. Yeah, no, I think that was good. If we've got it Bruce right, there. then Bruce has gone through with a overall three-two win. Oh no, two-one. Yeah, the first game was nil-nil. Yeah, two-one yep. win for Bruce. So um, yeah, no, so great, great win for Bruce there, and that. Looks like an excellent game coming up. Um, Bruce Granick against Bruce Brian. Granick against Brian. Ooh. French. France v France. Yep. I mean, France will be split on that, who they're supporting there. So, so any, any surprises there, do you think? Or was that as expected? No, I, I know you were saying Brian to start yeah. off with. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, I think I said this earlier, if you're Real Madrid, even if Rocky was Real Madrid, Rocky would be walking into it expecting I need to win because at least Brian doesn't have Real Madrid but Brian played a flawless game of Bayern Munich didn't he? he yeah, oh yeah. yeah I thought he yeah. played pretty good I think the, the both games actually we watched were quite similar where Granik um, oh no sorry we, we have got it wrong um, so it was Alex so they must have changed kits um, and um, Alex is through to the to the semi-finals Alex is through yep. wow that's a mistake from um, us then and playing Brian so yeah apologies for that but so yeah, yeah. Wow. So Alex will play Brian in the in the semi-finals um, of this G and E Masters two tournament. And Gorilla will play Graham, the two new UK boys. Yeah. New um, on the scene. Who who do you think will win that one out of um, Gorilla and Graham? Um, I mean, didn't Graham just beat Nino? Like, not Nino, his uh, Chris. Yeah. Chris. I, think I mean, he yeah. was. He, I thought he played really good in the group. So Graham will be going in with confidence, and he seems like an emotional player, doesn't he? Yeah, no, I, I agree. I think... Yeah. Um, but I think uh, Sean... I mean, not Sean, sorry. I think Gorilla is still the favourite. Defending champion. But, yeah. Yeah, I think um, definitely there's two two big games coming up here. Um, but right, right now, guys, we're going to take a break. But uh, make sure you join us soon for the semi-finals that we've got coming up shortly.